So do you think you get enough support from your community or your people, around the people around you? Well, I want you to feel that way. But yeah, but the people around me, like people I got around me like twenty four seven, yeah, I feel like they 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 support me a hundred percent still. But uh, as for the community you now, you know, I feel like I could get a little more love from the community because mm. you know we don't do a lot of things and we don't we don't perform all over the place and you know the community ain't really show too much love still. Mm. But I love I love my community where I come from. Mm. You know what I mean? I tolerate men. We live in a risky world, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the Perspectives podcast is brought to you by True Vibes Island Prints. For the best quality t-shirts and prints, True Vibes is your only choice. The Perspectives podcast is also brought to you by J Ink Tattoo. For clean tattoos like these, book your appointments today. Did you know about Advanced Caribbean's referral program? It's simple. Refer a friend to get a loan with the institution and upon approval of the loan, you get 50 EC dollars. That's right, 50 EC dollars. This applies to new customers only. Terms and conditions apply. You can drop by their Nevis location at Sweet 10 in the Enville building in Charleston and in St. Kitts, it's Church Street, Bastier. You can also apply online at www.advancedcaribbean.com. What are you waiting for? Get involved today. Welcome back to Perspectives Media. If it's your first time here, welcome to the family, is me. Welcome to the vibes. This is the home of entertainment. Is me. Yes, I will come come and learn something about St. Kitts Nevis music. Is me. And today we have I feel like we have a special kind of talent here. Is it? The man himself, Mr. J Dos. Hey, hey, hey. You don't know it's J Dos, you know, double R God, big up J Town. You don't know. We out here. We are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? Big up J Town. Big up everybody with big up. So before we get into the episode, people remember for like, share, and subscribe. Is me a cup, a true vibes IP shirt. You see the red eye brisk me van. Is me quality stuff. Is me check J ink for the tattoo them same. I don't know. So um, Jedos, who are you? What are you about? I don't know. Jedos is a lyrical god, the lyrical, the lyrical Hercules. I don't know. Dance all talent here in St. Kitts and Navy since 2015. Yeah, man. You don't know. So, how did you begin in music? Like, where did you get started in music? Did it, is it that you started music 2015? No, well, I was doing, I started be, releasing songs 2015, but I've been doing music long before that, like in high school. But I started doing poetry before music and I developed a love for music and started writing music in high school when i was in high school around third farm you know me and you know the holly 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 nigger mm. you know and then we start off me holly nigger tj sonny king you know we start off double r you know some of us branch off and do our own thing you know as the years pass and you know, we're doing, we're doing music since high school times, man. Mm. Yeah, man. So you, ju- you literally just fall in love with music from high school. What, I, in, what influenced you to start singing? Well, you know, coming up, local artists like Infamous always expo- inspire me to write music and do music. I always go up listening Infamous and, you know, Vibes Cartel, you know. The whole works, my value, everybody. You know, and I just love the music. I, I just grew up loving music. And, you know, since I was small, my father tell me he had a trombone and I went to pick it up and try to play it and blister up my mouth. You know, he said, Boy, that's how you become an artist. You know, boy, you had music in a long time, you check. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. So, from high school, did you always tell yourself you want to be an artist from starting? 
No, I had I had a more love for football. I had a more love for football than the music them times there. I always thought I would make it out as a big footballer, you know, but it never worked out. So uh, you know, but in a foot position you used to play. I used to play on the wing and sometimes on the strike. Mm-hmm. So yeah. a top striker. You know, we go man from long. <laughs> we sing it in one bit soccer, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and Mad Stoney, but, but, big up Mad Stoney, man. You don't but, know. But one bit soccer, right back. Get it a winger and a striker. One bit soccer, yeah. Yeah, man. We just, is, is, is Tony come up with the title for the song still? You check? I guess that's he, he play. You know true, what I mean? Cooley Bali was my player at them times there, though. And one bit soccer come out. Cooley Bali, you don't know. Big up Napoli. Yeah, big defender that. Yeah. Man. But yeah, man. But but um, in terms of the music now, how did you feel af- after falling out out of love with football? I guess because obviously the football in career not going away. So um, how did you transfer your energy from football to music now? Well, more times I just stay home and just study music and listen music and you know try keep up with the times and the 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 local music fraternity you know and i just study it i just study it you know what i mean and i just play it mesh into me and let me become one with the music and so 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 what was what was the first song you did for say where you say you get a little recognition from so people actually accept you say that you have talent um I would say the White Iverson remix, the only OG. Mm. Me and Sonic King, I'm smoking, I'm smoking, no Pablo tattoo. Mm. To get a high is all I ever wanna do. Yeah man. Yeah, and what you get a good reception from that say tell yourself say a serious artist. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see I see that song blow up the place and even though you get taken down off of YouTube a couple of times, that was one of my foundation songs, you check? Mm. Yeah, so that song they really cement me in the music, like put me in the music. At that point, you did still go to school? No, no. Oh, 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 you don't know what to school? Yeah, I don't know what to school. Mm-hmm. So after that song, now what? What other songs? What other songs did you get? We get give you some recognition. Um, I would say pre that mm. April Madness. Higher Meditation featuring Sonny King. Um, I had a song with a boy when I had an EE page called Do Full of Remix. Mm. Yeah, um, that song was getting a, 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 a quite amount of traffic too. Mm. Yeah, and you know what I mean? You don't know the bigger songs, them come out like Bambi D and them songs there. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. them they come out after. So, how, how did you get connected to Byron Messiah? Um, but yeah, Messiah reached out to me like in the music, and you know, I mean, we we would link and I would reach down by him and we record songs. And he record me, them time he could have record, he used to record himself. A lot of people, you know, that mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, so that's how we get to link and connect, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so linking up with Byron Messiah them, from them time, they still have the link there with him to this day? Um, I ain't even know how to answer that one there, but we've been out, we've been out of touch quite some time now, so I wouldn't really say I got the link with him. Mm. Yeah. So you're proud of him success? What do you mean, man? I, I proud of the youth still. I, I ain't going to see somebody rise and, you know what I mean, try to bring them down. Mm. You know what I mean? You always got to be supportive. Mm. You know what I mean? Whether your peers are or not, you know? So, yeah, man. Shout out to him still. You don't know big up by when I say you. Mm. You know what I mean? You reach far with your talent and, you know what I mean? I know the whole of SK Powder him still, you check? Mm. Mm. The whole of SK is supposed to be proud of Yeah, man. You don't have to be a serious hater for no proud of you. Buy it, buy it. Regardless of whatever it is, yeah, half a proud of you. Mm. So, from, 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 from then now, um, you spoke to Bambidi and them sang there. How did you come up with that song? The Bambidi video. Bambidi. Bambidi, right? A lot of people ain't even know, like, 
um you had a, a beat on youtube that i did find it was a burner boy type beat and i just started to feel the beat and spit on it like you know what i mean and wait it out and i didn't buy the beat i didn't buy the beat um i had to get remade uh, so i reached out to bob t now and bob t we make the beat and mm. yeah we make it our official song right 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 and when you made that an official song and you put it out did it meet immediate success like people immediately people people gravitate towards it real fast and love it and you know what i mean even as i was performing it like at a couple shows and stuff like that people would be singing word for word right, right. you know what i mean so that song that song is a foundation song too right. so that song got a lot of love and i just want to big up my fans them still for always supporting me and you know that song still because that song for the fans them still yeah 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 speaking of performance now i think one of the first times me ever see you like something for you before even knowing your music was a performance feel like you're you're a good performer is that something that you focus on like working on the craft of performing because a lot of times you see artists they make good songs but then can't perform yeah that's true um when you come to when you come to performing now you just got to really focus on the the, the crowd and surrounding still and just feel out the, the place and you know interact mm. i feel like all artists supposed to you know what i mean know how to perform perform the songs properly you know what i mean artists like burner by we should like watch him as you know a, 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 a real role model when it comes to performing mm. you know so right so um speaking of performing and all that now you speak a lot of burner boy other than burner boy what are some of your inspirations locally locally i would say infamous infamous is a real inspiration mm. i talk about him already mm. you know what i mean I even have a song there i can't even find it on youtube i know you um i can't even remember your name but yeah i i, I grew up listening a lot of infamous and mm. he really inspired me to like come out and be a musical artist too and just do my thing and you know, I really respect him too. Mm. Yeah. So so in your career now, because can't follow them and ask them question. In your career, at one point we see a change from this skin tone to another skin tone. <laughs> isn't it? What go on this one? By them times I under a lot of vibes, you know, like I just feel like I was to just recreate myself and I was reading a, a real I was reading a real powerful book at the time called 48 Laws of Power and I was stuck in that book there by and I was really in love with a chapter there where it said Re- recreate yourself you check so mm. you know what I mean you always gotta be controversial when it comes to doing dance or music so mm. I just went and you know changed up the skin tone mm. and so, so <laughs> change up the skin. So, what means did he use to change up the skin? The skin to why blue swap. <laughs> I can't give out the secret ingredients, man. You don't no, know. Remember, remember, you know, all the people out here bleaching and not reaching, you know. Yeah, that's true. Isn't it? When when you jump out with the bleaching boy, you know, fam, you white like you all over the same father. Isn't it? <laughs> like in an instant, fam. Is it? Yeah, man. So, so what are the remedy? Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you didn't know a two, a Jamaican or two, we give you the remedy. A friend of mine gave me the remedy. Mm. Yeah. Um, a lady, I, I got name, she named this close, because me one, me one, no traffic one to her right now. So, <laughs> yeah, because she has a bar where you put me in by. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah I just had some money in, in Tonga there. And I see her, and I said, what's going on? You can't help start me out with the thing what I tell you I want to do. And she said, yeah, come with me. And we went in Lucky's and she just wait. She just, she just buy everything with the money what I give her. And then when I reach up by her, she mix it down. And she said, use that there in two weeks. You should see what's going on. Mm. Yeah. And then I just see my skin start to like light up by. 
<laughs> yeah, boy. And so, so, so what? what <laughs> <laughs> so, what were the people's reaction? What were the people's reaction? Boy, to, 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 to that. The people them. I feel like the people them. They love that image still. They check. Uh, you know what I mean? See, your parents. Your parents. They. They. they how the parents react to that? Boy, my mother was real angry. My mother was real angry still. You check. Yeah. Mm. Shout out, my mom still car. You know, my mom is a big Christian still. You check and to see I do release the kind of music I do release and the things I do still like. You know, she's she was angry so. But you know, ain't last so. You know what I mean? So why did you stop? Like why did you stop? Cause you did white in you know, a farm. Boy, yeah. well, you see what going on now. That is very expensive and times getting hard to still. You check what I'm saying and you gotta use your money wisely. Mm. And everything is just for a short period of time and still so. So you you the bleaching the bleaching where they do now, you you not think you you think you would ever go back to that, like that colour? Cause well, you, you say the funds in you know, it, so if you actually get back the funds now. What you mean? Like if the funds run back like steady and strong, like how we supposed to. White again. What you mean? Chalk. Like chalk. Blood yeah. Yeah, father, father. Eh, turn up what the thing. What you mean? Ten <laughs> times. <laughs> you mean? Yo, ten times, ten times of that a, a skin damage, you know, my friend. Ten times of that a skin damage, bro. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, so after after stop bleaching now, because at that point you had to release music cons- consistently. Mm. Why did you stop releasing music like that? By I start. I would say like I start to gain a lot of trouble and you know what I mean. What kind of trouble you get into? You know what I mean. Family issues and stuff like that and them things slow me down still. You check what I'm saying and you know what I mean. A lot of people you know still, but I was, I was in what the word name incarcerated. Yeah. Yeah, man. For 20, 20, 21. For, but it wasn't for long, man. It for was, what reason? But uh, I had to talk with a man in tongue, my fist and fist. Mm. You know what I mean. He ended up getting worse and. You know? Oh, I think I see a video of that, you know. Yeah, there is a video of that. Yeah, there is a video of the incident. Mean to so. show if you got a video. You know, had a video. You know, had a video with that. I'm sure he had a, he had a video, but then I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Mm. See a bit of a man in town, basically. Bye, bye. Cause I don't like people trouble me. I check so. Mm. And what, what was the exp? How long, how long did you spend in? in I was, I was locked up for three months. Three mm. months. That was that. That's small time still. Dying, dying. No time still. Cause a man coming out after five years and 10, 12 years and stuff like that. So three months. But I just grateful to be on the road still. You check. Mm. Yeah, man. Trying to get you know, more trouble and stuff like that. Though. Trying right. to just step back and keep to myself and just mm. jump back in the music. But I ain't too sure when. I just trying to build back my energy right now. Mm. Yeah. So, so y- what was what was it like to be in lock up as a youngster? Did you know about Advanced Caribbean's referral program? It's simple. Refer a friend to get a loan with the institution, and upon approval of the loan, you get fifty EC dollars. That's right, fifty EC dollars. This applies to new customers only. Terms and conditions apply. You can drop by their Nevis location at Sweet 10 in the Enville building in Charleston and in St. Kitts, it's Church Street, Bastier. You can also apply online at www.advancedcaribbean.com. What are you waiting for? Get involved today. Ah, bye. It was hard. You check what I was saying. Well, hard, and if you ain't got your loved ones who care for you, when you're in a situation like that, you'll be hard still. You check what I'm saying, but good thing I had people, good people around me. You know, my mom, my ex girlfriend, you don't know, a lot of love for us still. Yeah. So make your ex girl leave you when you go to jail, she left you? No, 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 no. no. You, you cheat on her. A good girl like that will hold it down for three months. You, 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 you cheat on her. No, we just, we just say, walk out, man. Mm. You just saying walk out. So I'm listen. You know what I mean? Th- things change like you know what I mean things fade, you check. Everything I tell you, everything ain't last forever, everything like it just lasts mm. a period. So she fade away like the brownness. <laughs> just like that. She yeah. Just fade with her. Yeah man. Mm. 
See, have a, you have a new girl in your life, you know? No, man, I just cool in, I just... And the single life right now, you check? Mm. Yeah. Single? Nah, beat nothing. Single is one, you know, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, try to tell me, say, you, j the artist, nah, nothing. Right now. Currently. No, man, nothing there right now. <laughs> I hate that I hate that I hate that I for fool. It it take me for it take me for a fool. Yeah. yeah. They gone, man. They gone. Mm. They gone. So so, them say send kids send kids um prison on a roughest roughest night in Caribbean. Alcatraz. Mm. Yeah, eighteen forty two. Alcatraz, man. Mm. So man, them not, man, them not give a proper scolding in there. No man, no man. Mm. You get no, you try to me, you get no prison beating. No, no, no. Well, I had, it, I had a little fight still. That man kept me a small box. He wasn't no beating. No, the man beat up, beat no. out your blood clot. No, me ain't no beating yeah, in jail, man. beat out your blood clot. <laughs> Boy, you get a small box, eh? <laughs> yeah, you think jail and jail are outside are the same thing? Jail different thing. But anyways, moving on from that. We see where, um, even in recent times, we see where... You, you was embroiled in some beef, some online beef with the likes of Scratchy Bama them. What, what happened there, sir? Like, what was that about? Boy, that was just a little musical falling out, you know, still, like, the beef was booing them times still, you check what I was saying, but, yeah, like, the boss ain't studying nothing like that no more, though, you know what I mean? I just schooling on my own thing. Yeah. So, so, so how real did that get? Because I see where you play out online where carry all our drive past ends and how real did that beef get? Because you say it's musical but it seemed more than music. No man, I, I would think it was just musical because I just do what I had to do musically, do my song them because they said they want to clash so I just mm. drop my song them still and... So how come, how come we never see the clash they play out on stage? Well, that was to be the thing, but nobody did want to pull up the money. Bob T didn't have to pull up the money and say, bye, if I want the clash, the money over here, yeah, pull up our money, and we ain't see them pull up no money. Yeah, but we don't need money. If 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 it is to prove what the bad artists, you don't necessarily need no money. You think? Because a lot of times, we see man show challenge, you know, and them put some ridiculous price on it to them know nobody now go really take up. So it's like, you know, say, them know, say, like your side know, say, them man, they now nah, go put up such and such amount for a clash. Mm. Isn't it? So you'd say to that. Well, that, well, we could move the mic. You know? Well, I feel like it wasn't a money, a money situation still, really, but it could happen. It just, it just ain't play out the way it's supposed to play out still, the check was saying. Mm. Yeah. Be wanted to be an on stage clash. I wasn't running from that deal. Mm. You know what I mean? To see who the better artist was and who could stand the ground. Mm. But and you blow. think you think that wouldn't would play out wouldn't play out into the streets, like spill over into the streets with 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 with, with like the serious part of it? Well it might have played out in the streets still. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I I, I you know to tell you. You know what I mean? I just feel like you play with the streets still, but it's on one level, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. And you were prepared for it to go anyway? Yeah, man. Either way, you go, I always ready. I always ready. Mm. So, speaking of being ready and them kind of vibes, eh, do you think music influences violence in society? Yeah, man. I feel like music influences violence in society for years now, cause, you know what I mean? For years now. In terms of what? Um, gun lyrics and explicit lyrics, mm. you know, they, they contribute to a lot of killing in 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 the in the in the in society. So, you know, what I mean, just well, some some people would say still, you know, music is a reflection of life, mm. isn't it? So, music would reflect anything that the society is going through you know what i mean so if you have a violent society you have to expect the music to be violent yeah because music is a re- reflection of life yeah next thing too 
if you look at Jamaica now, Jamaica is in a state of war. So the music uh, speak to war. Mm-hmm. Jamaicans are depressed. You see, but man like Chronicler, yeah, Kraft, yeah, yeah. Think all of them are a, a, a pain in the yeah. music because it's a painful society. Mm-hmm. You see, so I don't necessarily feel like music influence violence necessarily. It's more of music just a tell you what I go on in a society. Mm-hmm. You see me? So um from from coming out of incarceration and being back on the road now, um why why haven't you been putting out music and pushing like before? Ah uh, boy um I would say like it just timing like studio location sometime even you got you got, you got be on time still and sometimes the studio so far and sometimes no chance there <laughs> you know what i mean so do you think you get enough support from your community or your people around the people around you well i want you to feel that way but yeah but the people around me like people i got around me like 24 7 yeah i feel like they they, they support me a hundred percent still but uh, as for the community you now you know i feel like i could get a little more love from the community because mm. you know we don't do a lot of things and we don't we don't perform over, all over the place and you know the community ain't really show too much love still mm. but i love i love my community where i come from mm. you know what i mean yeah. When 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 I would mention the name Jedus, something that people is always saying, I don't know if you wish to speak on it. There is this narrative out there that Jedus is a crazy person, like something wrong with him mentally. What would you say to somebody who says who says that? Um, I would disagree. I would disregard that. Um, you know, things just happen in life and. I feel like I as a normal person just like everybody else due to the fact that I've been like um, sent to the hospital uh, you know the psychiatric ward several times you know a crazy person is, is a different person I, I feel like I is, I is a normal person just like everybody else me by you check it's just that we go to certain things in life as I tell you I never let it stop me I release music still for my fans them mm-hmm. you know what i mean even after all that pain and so you would, know, drama and stuff like that so do you wish to speak on the specifics as to why is it you ended up in the psychiatric ward and so well i could talk about the first time what happened the first time i had a nervous breakdown because you know i witnessed a, a accident um that take place over Frigate Bay, mm-hmm. Sonny King. Yeah, he was hit by a car, and you know that was that was my real close friend at the time. And so he died. No, no, no. But like you could say, he almost died. So and I just felt guilty, and because I tell him like, let me go beach that day. So I felt guilty, you know. What I mean, uh, and the guilt and just turn to depression and just everything just like pile up on me. And it caused a nervous breakdown and you know maybe i was acting out a character and stuff like that my family was seeing it like cause i was lacking sleep i wasn't sleeping and stuff like that so you could see i was tweaking them times you know what i mean yeah so yeah it wasn't a good experience but i don't learn my lesson still you check what i'm saying mm, and, yeah and that was the only time it ever, something like that ever happened where you ended up in a situation like that um no what happened the other time or another time that it happened another time like another time man, i'm trying to remember by because he had some other time i mean you know which one to pick from just pick one it fam it's nothing to be ashamed of you things happen to people like life real fam. yeah life real out here and anybody who watch this and judging them never know where they're gonna be tomorrow mm, that's yeah. true. 
anything can happen to anybody at any point in time is me just that some people want like all you were popular now mm. in more public yeah isn't me people know yeah is it so it's nothing to be ashamed yeah. ashamed or afraid of um, it's but is 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 more of what you do from that like yeah. how do you overcome that do you make that stop you isn't me that's the that's the kind of vibe is it so when the, you speaking about your situation it's supposed to make somebody who go through it feel like yeah i'm a normal person too yeah because you're there so don't talk to me i'm not talking to no crazy some pr- crazy person i talk to somebody who's sensible yeah a yeah. musician yeah. an artist who make sure you aspire to be an international artist yeah yeah you, you aspire to do music on the level the way you can take care of yourself and your family don't it yeah isn't it so speaking to you too if i'm not feel afraid to for, for talk about your situation because it speaks to po- it it speaks power to people trust me you never know who else to this is it so even in when them thing that happen now what what would you say how do you say it affect your music in terms of do you put the pain in your music or do you just lock in and don't do music but sometimes i would just end the music by me and tell her like as the depression thing ain't easy still to check what i'm saying yeah so Sometimes it just it just got me zone out like mm. you know thinking about my past and stuff like that. But I try to not dwell on my past still. Mm. Yeah. So so not dwelling on your past. Have you ever seek to to get some kind of therapy? Yeah. Yeah. Therapy yeah. I, last year I was doing some heavy therapy. Mm. You know, shout out Miss Wallins. That was a high school teacher of mine. Mm. Yeah, and she do she she do therapy when i was incarcerated i do therapy too mm. yeah so yeah so um the therapy actually help you yeah man the therapy help the therapy help you real good mm. yeah and what what space would you say you're in mentally at this point I, in time i'm mentally in a good space right now you mm. know what i mean it, it's it's been two years since i ever you know what i mean two years since i ever been in the hospital and you know i mean i feel like that's progress mm. you know so 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 um the music now what's the plan for you going forward with music i feel like i feel like i was thinking the other day right like everybody got the time mm. right i feel like what i should have do back then was to just wait out me sang them and just I, I feel like i was just wait out the songs and just wait wait and see like what could happen like you know like just 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 wait and see what could happen so in a sense you feel like you were in your creative zone at yeah that point. yeah i feel like I, I wasn't to like drop music at at them time i just hold back my music till like a couple years pass and then mm. see how the place develop and mm-hmm drop music you feel you feel like those songs that you would have dropped back then they would have done well today yeah 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 mm. in 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 a in this time and age like yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so um you don't think you can find back that that energy there yeah man i could find back that energy more thing. i just gotta be lucky and still and mm. you know really gain some real hot beats and mm. you know so what what producers are you working with currently i work with I work with Plugin Records, um, Bob T, that's Hey Bye, and GT Beats. I work with um, Venom Records, that's Penny. Um, that's about four producers near my just call. Mm. And yeah. About. So do you do you have any songs coming out coming out like soon where you want to want want the people them to no because i just i just been waiting down and i just been waiting waiting music and and holding them wait no cars why do because like you know i just i just i just ain't feel like it's time to touch back scene yet why what 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 are you waiting and like what is it that what is that light you're looking for then by i feel like i don't drop some tracks what don't set foundation so the whole in the whole in the the going right now yeah, but what kind what kind of vibes you looking to get back 
specific like what is it you're looking for from uh but i was looking for vibes like just a, a jiggy vibe to touch back the dance i seen with the check what i seen mm. something to touch people to like some some pain music and you know what i mean some word wave type music too yeah so 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 you going through so much pain from don't you think you have it inside of you already because i feel like it it all starts and stops with you you know isn't it so whatever it is you go you went through you just have to find a way for channel that through the music yeah. and people gonna hear it and feel it yeah you know what i mean and i feel like i got a good backbone story and everything it trust me fam to 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 do that too because everybody know the struggle i've been through and you know what i mean the hardship so mm. i know people gonna support me too mm-hmm. for some people and and me say it still and i know my fans they really support me still and i know they am be happy to see this little podcast too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. trust me fam so um you say you're not you're not planning to put out no music right now what can the fans of you expect in the near future in the near future you could expect you could expect music like for this year coming this year this new year coming still but maybe later down like maybe summertime because that's that's like when i feel like i more dominant still you check in mm. the summer yeah right 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 you see you have on your shirt a bathing ape like a lot a lot of your branding is a bathing ape you know where get that from by a bathing ape no by we don't tell like <laughs> i had a friend of mine there well he ain't my friend no more but he used to work and i like by where get them there from and like he used to tell me and stuff so yeah man <laughs> so these are your original merch no 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. These, are, these are japanese merch still you check a lot of people a lot of people should know about it still you check what i'm saying years now i working babe oh yeah. okay 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 so when when you go through your struggles right what kind of support do you get from your friends you feel like your friends stick stick around yeah man shout out you. shout out my real friends them still they check what i'm saying and one person who i always call, call and i depend on his herbalist is still uh, you check what i'm saying so shout mm. out herbalist for being there for me to check and thing uh, mm. telling you that's a real real way that day I'm telling you mm. yeah, so um and do you plan do you have plans or do you want to become a big artist like a big international artist well you know what i mean that's the plan still but it's just to see where where it take me still you check what i'm saying mm. yeah everybody everybody thing is to be a big international artist you know what i mean but it's just working to get there still mm. and what yeah. kind of work are you putting in to get there you know what i mean i just i just focusing on myself right now you know what i mean mm. and i will get up I will get up sometime and try wait out music, but I feel like I lack beats right now. So, mm. yeah, I, I need some beats. I need some fresh beats. So if you know, I connect. Mm. Let them link me with some fresh beats, by mm. But shout out Getty there in the states too. You know what I mean? That's what I'm connect right now. Mm. Yeah. So, pan so you see you see the prominence of social media, right? A lot of our boss artists now is TikTok. Man, I do a 30 second video with a song freestyle a song on tiktok to mm. any random beat and that just blow up you ever consider doing them thing eh? well i don't i don't be on tiktok like that so mm. so you don't use social media much. yeah I, I i use instagram and facebook but not tiktok but you go get you have to get into the tiktok from tiktok are where see, it's see at the right TikTok now there, see the tiktok was in there <laughs> Very well. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you can follow me on Instagram, double that r that god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, people, you don't know. You hear from Jedos, the boss still there, still aspire to do music, still want to make it out there. Isn't me? Jedos, is there anything else you want to say to the people? No, man, you don't know. I just want to say, I just want to say, I mean, shout out to all my day one fans, you know, my real ones, them, my family, you know. I mean, where you die, die them just big up ourselves. Don't know Jedos love you. Yeah, man. I don't know people. 
remember people for like share and subscribe the platform cannot grow without you like sharing and subscribe leave a comment too because the comments important you know like in youtube said your yeah, engagements yeah actual people watching this i mean i better watch this isn't yes, me so until next time people it's perspectives media oh you're the joy of us hey and i said nobody now believe it <laughs> well if they may say i mean i beat it me and the pastor, me not go preach it to a way all it down. Yeah, man, it's Dejo, you know what I mean? Giving you a different perspective on Perspectives Media. Easy. Perspectives Media.